Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another part of Sudeki Let's Play, uh, which I believe is now part 14. Uh, you may have noticed that there's actually no volume at this point, which I unfortunately have to say there seems to be something wrong with the sound, at least in this part of the game. I already checked it out, mo loaded multiple saves, I've, I keep three of them now. They've all got this weird static noise, have a listen. I'm not quite sure what it is, but hopefully it will go away a bit further in and then it will stop. I'm really sorry about that, it's out of my hands really. But um, let's keep going anyway. And hopefully, I think it's just after this courtyard it will go really, because that's where it seems to be emanating from. So, let's kill some people. I have to talk a lot more now because there's nothing else to distract you except for what's on the screen. Uh, so, what to talk about? Oh, a good thing to probably bring up at this point, seeing as it's April the 28th, is that Grand Theft Auto 4 is coming out tomorrow. Which I'm sure a lot of people out there are looking forward to. Uh, I'll be trying to pick up a copy. I'll just use Iron Warrior. Uh, so yeah, I'll be trying to pick up a copy, even though I have not pre-ordered. It was only about a week ago I suddenly realised I want this game. So, it was a bit too, that's when the people stopped taking pre-orders too, so I, I'm a bit stuffed. So, uh, my plan is to go down to, I hope no one hears this before and steals it from me, but the plan I've got on hand is to go to Tesco's at midnight, just when it really gets released, because I can sell the game then, and hopefully get a copy there, with any luck. Uh, Lust of Wine. Who needs some of them? Kazell. So yeah, um, I've never actually owned a GTA game before though, which is the interesting part. I have played previous ones. Um, I pl Not all of them though, I played GTA 1 on the PC when I was a little kid. And that was mostly for laughs, because me and my friend found it funny that you could run around farting and burping everywhere. And that was about all we did really, just run around and just go <laughs> etc. for hours on end. We were young. And then the only other one I've played is Vice City, and again, I wasn't really playing the game properly, it was just, well, it, was, I, well, it wasn't my copy, it was just my friend's copy he brought around for a while, and, um, what am I doing? He said he brought around his copy, and we just ran around and tried to get up our worn, not worn, wanted level as high as possible, um, and see so you could survive the longest, we just turned it into a survival competition, really, that's all we really did. But what I played was fun, you know, I mean, a lot of people do play the games because they like to drive around and just kill people. And that's what I did. Lust of wine. Um, oh yeah, regarding this dungeon, that's locked, okay. Um, my plan here, because if I do the whole thing in one go again, it might take up a bit of time, so I thought, what I'll do, I'll do half the dungeon now and half later. And if any luck, the sound thing will probably go away soon too. So let's see how it goes. So, oh, what are we using? You? I want Alexine. Invisible block. Dispel it, woman. There we go. So why do I need to put these? Do I go in here? That's locked. Is that there? Um, Nico, you go up there. Isn't that also the name of the main character GTA 4, but with a K? Ah, oh, that's where I need to go. It's something like that, isn't it? I'm not too sure. Uh, so, this needs to go over here. Let's check on the sound. Yeah, still bad. God, it's such a pain. I'm really sorry. I'm not. I have no idea. I think it's. I thought it might be the save file, but it's probably something wrong with the disc. When I did buy it second hand and it wasn't in perfect condition, but it's probably what you get when you pay three quid, isn't it? So push that in there. There we go. Also, I recently uh, acquired Condemned for the PC the other day. I say acquired, you know what I mean, really. Um, I did the first level, because I didn't have loads of time available. It was alright. I liked the investigating idea, that was fun. And um, the combat was still really interesting. I actually ran around at first thinking I was reloading when I was pressing all the time, not realising I was just checking my ammo. And, it came, and I realised that uh, you have to do most of the game with melee. And I was like, ah. Oh. 
not a good R, it was a bad R. I'm not sure if that actually was shown well enough then. Um, excuse me, I just had a little burp there. I've just eaten. <laughs> I got home from work and was starving. Alright, so we're in here now. What to do now? I need to move blocks and pull a switch. Okay, that looks 